When it comes to trying to let go of the past in order to move forward, let go of the feeling of victimhood that tends to be attached to our childhood traumas and, and almost like the things that we frame as have been done unfair to us or unjust. One of the best ways I've come to find anyway that has served me to express myself more fully and move into and venture into um, actually pursuing ideas that I feel confident to pursue now, whereas in the past maybe wouldn't have, and maybe you feel the same way about yours if you feel held back from whatever it is that you're pursuing, is how I frame childhood and how I frame what I once would have framed at a younger stage, bad things that have happened to me. And I'm pretty sure all of us have our makeup and sometimes we can just through the roughness or harshness of upbringing, forget that we have framed these things from the past as negatives. And so internally, we tend to hold these negatives within ourselves, regardless of if we remember them or not. And in so doing, whenever we are exposed to similar experiences or feelings from venturing into new things, we tend to retreat or try and you know, get back to a safe zone within ourselves psychologically. But there was uh, one guy I met that or I came across that had a much worse, you would say, upbringing than me. And, but he flipped it all around. He, he was able to overcome that and then get on with the success that he wanted to pursue, regardless of how uncomfortable it was or whatever he was emotionally exposed to. And, you know, I thought, man, that's crazy. And it's, you know, like, that's pretty amazing to do. But how did he do it? And so the trick was, is that he framed the bad things that had happened in his life. Like he, you know, kind of like had a list of it all, kind of remind, like was remembering it all. And then he wished it was 10 times harder than what it was. And that guy had some pretty serious traumatic events, just like a lot of us out there do. But in so doing, like just doing that trick mentally, whatever was so, so, you know, having such a terrible effect on him or holding him stuck in like a mental rut of victimhood, all of a sudden appeared small within himself. It, like the feeling appeared tiny because he amplified his childhood almost. Like he amplified it, he, what he wished happened to him like if it was bad he wished it was way worse if he had a if he got beat he wished that he got you know 10 times more beatings than that so that that one beating no longer has that much of an effect on him now i don't know if that would work for everyone uh however i have come to find that when i look back on my like my childhood and whatever i have internally just by going through whatever experience i was going through framed it as a negative in my mind just by going back to that and reframing it as, man, I wish I got it worse, really has served me to get over it. And in all, in all honesty, in so doing, almost have a sense of gratitude, even for the bad things that have happened. Because now, it's almost like the, the frame of, like the, the actual perspective you have now is regardless of, like the past does not make me who I am in the future now, um, it is in spite of the past that I am here now to make a great future. It's just interesting like that, man. You stop thinking that it, because of the past, my future is fucked. Now you think in spite of the past, my future is great. That's pretty amazing stuff, man. If you can really, you know, look back, and I know that there's some pretty fucked up stories out there, uh, but everyone has fucked up stories. Who doesn't? Who doesn't have a past? You know what I mean? And, and in so doing, so when we separate, you know, comparing each other like that and just think about our own individual upbringings and what, what are our personal issues with it and then kind of frame it with that way of amplifying like I wish I got it worse so that I could be, you know, whatever. Then whatever has happened tends to be less serious is it like in in feelings anyway it feels less serious than what it was because you could have always gotten it worse uh 
And, you know, there's a lot of fucked up stories out there. But at the same time, you know, I say I'm sharing this video because, or like this, we're talking about the subject, or I want to share the subject, because at the end of the day, we can't go back to the past. You know, so why should it have a hold on us? You know, why should we keep holding on to things that are gone when it no longer, you know, and if it is gone, that means that the fact is that the only thing that keeps it affecting us is our tie, how we tie ourselves to it. So if we change that frame and say, you know, and try and find a way to, to look at it in a way that resolves it, like, all right, I accept it. That's just what has happened. Then all of a sudden, all that's left in your mind, to, like in your headspace to be occupied is the present and where you're taking yourself from the present. So yeah, if you can, try that out and see if it works for you. Like look back into the past, no matter how traumatic it may be, and you might come to find that, well, at least that was for me anyway when I tried it out. I came to find that the past is actually not that serious and it's not something so it's not something that I should in the present be taking so serious especially when there's much more serious things to be working towards yeah all right